what girl i'm overseas the girl that's always in our mood are in our bag and today i'm definitely in my bag as you can tell by the title this is a get ready with me wig promo style so i thank you guys for being here if you are new here thank you for joining in and if you are not oh, what's up thank you for coming back <laughs> Before we get started, I just want to mention this is the sponsor for this video. And if you want to see me style it, just go to my last video. Alright, so first and foremost, let's hop right in. Step number one is going to be receiving the wig. Now once you receive the wig, you want to take a picture of the wig in its natural state or a video or both, preferably both. You want to do a picture and a video so you can say the wig came this way, you can describe how the wig came, the items that came in the wig, and the wig in its natural state. That's really important to me to show people in the promotion because why would I want to get something and I don't know exactly how it's going to look. I can advertise the hair looking like this, but it doesn't come looking like this. So you get what I'm saying? You don't want to do any false advertisement. You want to have everything being laid out on the table and as legit as possible. You want people to know what they're ordering, how it's going to come, and the things that they have to do to get it to look as said. You get what? Number two is going to be wig preparation. So before you even do any content or do anything, you want to prep the wig. If you need to dye the knots, go ahead and dye the knots. If you need to just put some lace tin, go ahead and put the lace tin. If you want to pluck, Go ahead and plug. Now, all of these things that I'm saying is content. Everything is content. So if you choose to put that in your wig promotion video, go ahead and do it. They love seeing how you do the hair. How do you get the hair in the desired style what you want? I also want to see how easy the hair is to work with. If the hair is too hard to work with or if the lace is too trashy to work with, why would they want to buy it? It's good to show them you actually utilizing the hair. Number three is gonna be all about your representation and your presentation. So how are you coming at the people? Are you just coming at them in a regular state, looking any kind of way? Are you dressed up? Are you bedazzled up? Do you have on makeup? How are you looking? Are your lashes done? Are your nails done? Do you have on a nice outfit? Are you just taking pictures in a plain background? All of these things matter. So when I say representation and presentation, what I mean by that is some companies may want you to use makeup. Some companies may not want you to use makeup. Me, preferably, I would say just do a light B. If you don't want to do a light B, add a little lash, add a little lip, add a little eyebrow, and you're good to go. Go ahead and take your pictures that way. When I say you should be looking presentable, it means in such, you would want someone to click on your picture. You want to look good enough to have someone click on your picture and say, dang, she looks so bomb and I love that wig she has on. I want to buy that wig that she has on. Okay, so you want to take pictures or you want to use videos that's going to capture someone's attention to get them to grab that wig off that Amazon or AliExpress or via whatever wig company that you are using. Preparation. Before you even get into your wig content, before you do anything of that nature, you want to make sure you're prepared, right? So for, so take for instance me. When I do my wig video, when I do my wig videos, I make sure I have three TikToks. I make sure I have three Instagram pictures or Instagram reels. It doesn't matter which one as long as I have up to three of them. I also make sure I do at least one to two YouTube videos on the hair. All of that content is only one week. And it seems like a lot, but it's really not. Now also, you don't want to forget, if you're not using a wig company directly, you want to make sure you have at least four pictures on one video via review with the five stars that you're giving on aliexpress or amazon whatever you're giving this is just how i do things how i'm being sure i am paid properly and i'm being sure i'm distributing the right amount of content 
for the wages that I'm receiving. You definitely want to make sure you plan your content out nicely before you even get started. And if your content does not include you prepping your wig, then you want to start making your content right. And last but not least, that is the best time to take your pictures. After you're done doing everything, you're going to need four pictures for your review. So after you're done doing everything, that is the best time to go ahead and just take the pictures that you need. Get all of the styles out the way that you want to get with the hair. And you can give another full honest review as well that's giving you just more content well i guess that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for being here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys the next video